Hey everybody, and welcome back to your daily nerdy news here at ThreadX3 Productions. I am Nick, as always. Thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get started, make sure you join us on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for our live streams. We play some video games, me and Kevin usually, sometimes Nate, and also Sundays, Nerd Radio, your national nerd net, Nate, rip, your national nerd net radio direct. <laughs> where we have some shows, we have music. It's like a radio station, but for nerds. Check it out on Sundays, streamed live. So let's get into this weird stuff today, all right? All right, you may have heard, PlayStation 5 pre-orders are now available. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? PlayStation 5 pre-orders. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What do you mean? I, I have $100. Not anymore, you don't. Poof. Okay. M maybe not. I guess depending on where you are. Dang it! PlayStation 5 is in a little bit of a problem here because not only did their pre-order just become an absolute cluster F, uh, fluster cluck, if you will, um, there's so much, there's so much to this. So let's break it down. Number one, their pre-order just sucked. They were supposed to give people enough notice and they didn't. They were supposed to give people notifications even on their PlayStation that they could pre-order and they didn't. Um, it was just, it imploded in on itself. And of course it sold out within, you know, so, Hey, good for them. But then we get to the, some of the other then we get to some of the other things um, that I personally don't really like. <clears throat> okay, so it came out today that it's official that PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games will not work for the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 4 will, but not all the other ones. And this is really upsetting because the backwards compatibility thing has been, the rumor has been going around for a while. And only after the pre-orders come out and get sold out in a lot of places does all of a sudden the story come out that, oh yeah, by the way, you can't backwards compatibility all this shit. And I'm just, I, I'm, I'm fuming because you look at Xbox and how much backwards compatibility is there and then PlayStation 5, like, I get it. You want to be the most, you know, innovative console that's why you won't even you know playstation 5 games can't play on playstation 4 or, you know whatever the case may be it's just like why guys why have you done this to us we are really loyal and it's just it just sucks and another layer to the shit cake is that playstation has come out and said ps5 will won't get an Xbox Game Pass competitor, says the PlayStation boss. This is from GameSpot, the Alessandro Barbosa. Um, following on from Sony's PlayStation 5 showcase where the console price was revealed, PlayStation chief Jim Ryan has made it clear once again that they are no, there are no plans to launch a competitor to Xbox Game Pass. So if you watched our reaction or if you watched our our talk about it yesterday during our daily nerdy news, that was one thing that we really hit home, that they needed some kind of competitor to the Game Pass. Some reason for PlayStation now to be a lot more relevant than it is now. Because Xbox very well could win next generation just on the fact that they have so many consumer friendly things and on top of that they can go backwards compatible it's kind of ridiculous it's something that i'm mm. and so now they've just outright said yeah nothing like game pass we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and hey it worked for them last generation this is a new generation xbox has been making passes at you and you're just going to be like nah everything's cool whatever everything is not cool Speaking of everything is not cool. So Disintegration was released in June and it will be shutting down its servers in November. This really sucks for a couple of reasons. Um, 
a lot of people worked on this. People from the original, like, Halo team. So this is a game that came up. It was supposed to be a multiplayer. It had, like, MOBA-esque things. It had RTS things to it. And it just didn't do that great. So that, that really sucks. It was released in June. And already in November, they're going to be closing the servers. That sucks. I don't know if I've seen a game die that fast other than the Gravity One by Cliff Pazinski that's escaping my mind right now for some reason. I can't remember it. Uh, moving on, you can get three games for free on Epic right now. So hurry, when you're done watching this, if you didn't already know, obviously, go and get it. Um, Football Manager 2020. Um, Stick It to the Man. And, of course, Watch Dogs 2. This is a big one, I feel like, because it's an actual big game. So, hey, you know, if you like Epic and you don't mind getting on their service, go check that out. You can get that for free. Three games for free. Usually they only do, like, two at a time. So just something to look at. Um, the PlayStation 5, let's talk about some good news now. Now that we've gotten the crap out of the way, PlayStation 5 launch games will have a free upgrade. So it has been confirmed that, like, Spider-Man, for instance, Miles Morales will be on the PlayStation 4. And if reports are correct, that means you can get the PlayStation 5 version for free upgrade. Um, Xbox a couple months back basically said that, hey, we're going to be releasing, you know, this system. I can't remember what they called it. Um, what did they call it? It's like, I can't remember the name of it. Damn it. Dang it. Um, but basically that you get free upgrades or whatever. And like Cyberpunk jump on that bandwagon was basically like, well, yeah, of course you're going to get this stuff for free. So um, the fact that PlayStation 5 has come out and said it is great news. Still can't go backwards compatible. Built compatibility. Still don't have that. But hey, you guys are okay. Um, and lastly, uh, Nintendo had a little mini direct. And one of the big things that came out of that is there are going to be two new Monster Hunter games. Um, that's great. You know, um, I, I feel like. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to say it. <clears throat> I feel like a game like that would actually feel, <clears throat> excuse me, would feel better, <clears throat> would feel better on the Switch. God, I hate that. If you've known our history, that's an inside joke. I apologize. But yeah, so there you go. Got a couple of good things. You got a couple of bad things. Some really bad things. Honestly, PlayStation, Sony, Sony, my boy, we got to talk. I mean,. You fumbled the ball. It's so weird to have such a good showcase give me such a good reason to pre-order your system, and then you just fumbled the ball. It was a touchdown, and it's like it was a touchdown. You were at the one-yard line, and you fumbled the ball, and now somebody's running back to the other end zone, and it's just like, wow. Just really sucks. Um... So a little short today, but not as many news stories, you know. So let me know what you guys think about the whole PlayStation 5 ugh, issue. I really hope they come out with something. Something down the road that says, you know, hey, we like our lineage. We care about our lineage. I, I hope so. But what do you guys think? Um, did you pick up any of the three free games? Have you played Disintegration? I would love to hear from you. Just Disintegration. Yeah. Have you played that? Let me know down in the comments below. I was Nick. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Daily Nerdy News. Bye-bye.